Hi, I'm Ed Mitra, a product owner at Deeper.ai. I'm going to break down this Unreal Engine demo that showcases real-time usage of VDB effects with the help of Zebra VDB. Zebra VDB is a compression and rendering technology that enables usage of VDB in true real-time. This scene has multiple VDB effects. The explosion is 25 gigabytes VDB sequence compressed into 800 megabytes. There are also multiple instances of smaller dust effects, uh, which is 1.2 gigabytes compressed into 40 megabytes. Usually, you just take your VDB sequence and import it in Unreal Engine using Zebra VDB import window, but I want to show you some tricks on how you can get a better visual look of your effect using Houdini, and I'll show you how you can also use our new plugin uh, Deeper VDB for Houdini to speed up your VFX creation pipeline. So this is how Explosion looks in Houdini. The extraction of the wagon was simulated using RBD bullet solver and exported as FBX to Unreal. Then I used this distraction to make an Explosion simulation using a Pyro solver. After simulating, you usually want to use Pyro Bake node to get this crisp look of the explosions by baking scatter channel. And as you can see, I'm not only using scatter, but fire too. Unlike scatter, fire won't be baked into separate channel, so I am exporting an emission channel that will contain both the scatter and the fire. But the problem with that is that scatter and emission are vector channels and Zebra with B is not able to render vector channels. You can still compress it if you are using Zebra with B just for storage saving, but you won't be able to render it in Unreal. So what I'm doing here is converting the emission into a float channel using a grayscale conversion formula and removing all the channels I didn't need after. This will also reduce your sequence size, since now you are storing only one value instead of three. Now I can cache this sequence using file cache node and import it into Unreal. But to avoid a necessary cache step, I'm using the BrevDB file cache node instead uh, to save the VDB sequence directly in compressed format. I can control this quality parameter, uh, which affects the final compression rate, but with this value, I won't get any noticeable quality reduction. And as you can see, the whole sequence is just one file now, which I can drop into my Unreal Engine project, and it will be instantly imported. And now I can drag and drop it into the thing, and it is rendering in real time inside the editor right away. Zebra with B uses a custom sparse renderer that is three times faster than Unreal's volumetric renderer. The volume can be affected by 15 different lights. It can also cast shadows from different light types and you can even have reflections. All rendering parameters are exposed inside Zebra with B actor for the ease of use. In this demo, I need the explosion to start playing at specific moment. Uh, for this, I just control the current frame parameter in the sequencer, so it sticks with my animated distraction geometry. Illumination of the effect is calculated in lower resolution for performance reasons. You can control it in illumination resolution parameter. Uh, by default, it is one quarter, which it gives good amount of details, uh, but you can stop with higher resolution, for example, before rendering it in movie render queue. Now let me reset all parameters and show you how I usually configure effects. The first thing you need to do is adjust density scale in case your effect is too dense or too thin. Then select the density color and I also like to add an absorption color just a bit. Next, I tune emission channels, flames and temperature. In my case, I only have a temperature where I basically store my emission. Uh, the difference is that temperature is a multiplier and only visible when there are density of flame channels present. 
uh, while the flame channel can be visible by itself. And these names are not tied to the names of channels you have in your sequence, you can rim up uh, channel to use rendering as you want in the asset properties. In the illumination sections, I usually change only ambient lighting. I select the right intensity and contrast to get some details in the shadows. And in the shadow sections, I adjust the shadow intensity parameter to get the right self-shadowing. And I disable received and projected shadows for the light types. Uh, I don't want shadows to be calculated for. This is strictly for performance reasons. If you are not controlling the animation with the sequencer, don't forget to set up correct frame rate of the effects in playback section here. That's usually everything I do to get the visuals I want. Something else to keep in mind is that effects like this is constantly increasing in size, and some frames will take more time to render than others. And this whole scene runs in the range from 35 to 55 FPS on RTX 3090. Zebra with Beef on Real plugin is available to purchase and you can use it in your project already. And Zebra with Beef for Houdini is in the process of public alpha testing, which you can join for free. And that's it. Thank you.